best ever fajitas. Listen to that sizzling. Take a look at the construction by the cove while we're waiting for that to open up as we're making our way towards the swan and dolphin. Welcome to the swan and dolphin. Today we're here at the swan and dolphin hoping that the fountain might be open, but it seemed like when we drove past that it wasn't. We couldn't get into the dolphin to try those milkshakes. So going into the swan here today, hoping we'll be able to get some kimonos sushi. We saw that was open last time we were here. So let's check this one out. And today we're wearing masks from Mike's Teespring shop. Hopefully you'll be able to see more of his Teespring shop soon, or you can find his merch on some other sites. Maybe check out his Amazon store for some cool merchandise too. Back that way we have the parking area and we make our way around to the entrance of the swan here. And here we are stepping into the shade. It's a nice toasty day, but it'll be cool inside, I'm sure. Can we step through the doors, making our way through? I like these jumbo size automatic doors, rotator. And we're inside. One of the best parts of the swan is how this lobby area is designed. So many beautiful decorations to see and appreciate throughout the resort. We recently tried Il Milano here on our right, and over on the left, you'll find the other restaurants like Kimono's, where we're off to check out now. You can see these halls. I'm not sure why I'm getting kind of the fisheye effect it looks like on the GoPro, but you can see what the halls look like, really beautifully decorated with the leaf design on the floor. Beautiful views out the windows and nice chandeliers and lighting decorations. So it seems like we're a bit early for kimonos. Doesn't open until 6 p.m. Thought we could maybe get lunch. Maybe not. So it seems like we're 0 for 2 here at the Swan and Dolphin, but maybe next time or maybe later. So now leaving this Swan, hoping we don't have the opposite issue from last time, being the parking validation. Last time we parked at Hollywood and found out we could have parked here. This time we parked here and are finding out the restaurants are closed. So is what it is. Now leaving the Swan and Dolphin. Since we're thinking about sushi today, thinking maybe City Walk. Cowfish does have some good options and we've been meaning to visit again. So we're making our way now to check it out. Okay, bye Disney. Pulling up to Universal. Look at these crowds. I've never seen this many cars at Universal waiting to get in. I cannot believe this on a Saturday here. So may rearrange our plans again around these crowds. Far more than I've ever seen any weekend day in the past waiting to get into Universal. I'm not sure what this means in the parks. We also saw Volcano Bay was at capacity, so might be a little bit too crowded here. We'll see. Taking the backstage exit route from Universal and we're gonna make our way somewhere different today. It's just a driving around journey. Seems like everything is packed or closed today, so we'll find something. So if you can tell, we're back at Disney. Why are we back at Disney? Well, we're not staying at Disney, no. We're doing Mike's suggestion, might I add. We are traveling through Disney property past all of the Disney festivities to go to Chewy's. Chewy's. He said Chewy's. And I mean, I never say no to Chewy's. Let's check it out. Welcome back to Chewy's. Here it is, the side of Chewy's as we make our way around. Let's get it. Chewy's still has that bright, fun feel out front. The sign says we are open, reserved for social distancing. Let's do it. We are right in the main room here. Got our own booth, I like it. Thank you. Here is our booth. Once we made our way inside, little lantern. Let's check this one out. Take a look at the social distancing here in Chewy's. You can see nice and empty. Take a look at the paper menus, disposable paper menus and the to-go options on the back there. Gotta love that setup. Let's see what we go for. Limited, limited menu, but there are still great options. So we've got our dips here. We've already started, forgot the video at the top, but there's your salsa, your chips, your jalapeno ranch, and Mike is digging in. It's been too long, it's been too long. We're just getting started with the salsa and the jalapeno ranch, but it is so good to be back. Such great food flavors here, fantastic spot. I'm talking about maybe fajitas, those might be cool. So we'll see what sounds good. Mike loves the chips. I love them, oh my gosh, I love them. Mm. Yes, and the jalapeno ranch. Gotta get the jalapeno ranch. And we're still on the appetizers. Oh yeah, baby. 
So social distancing at Chewy's, I feel quite comfortable. In a lot of restaurants we've been in, I felt very comfortable, and Chewy's is just the same, except I did not feel uncomfortable with the crowds going into Chewy's, because it was pretty quiet walking in. So overall, definitely a nice place to check out during social distancing. Mike, your thoughts on social distancing in Chewy's? Feels just as good as any other restaurant that we've been in, as you said. You know, I feel like they've got the table distancing, you have to wear your mask to stand up or go to the restroom or anything like that, and uh, everyone else is wearing their mask who's serving you, so feeling really good. Round two, fight! So we got the smoking hot combo fajitas for two. Excited to try them here, looks amazing. Listen to that sizzling of the fajitas here. Love that look. With the shrimp, we got the extra shrimp and the chicken. Oh my gosh, I'm fogging up. I fogged up, couldn't get that close. But you got the shrimp, the chicken, all the meat over there. Love it. Also a little bowl of rice. And here's our guac, cheese, sour cream, and tortillas on the bottom of this. Right down there. And there's your beans. These fajitas are quite good. I can appreciate the combo flavor and all the accoutrements to go with it. Building your own fajitas, always fun. We've only had a couple bites. I love the tortilla here. Really nice consistency and flavor on that one. Mike, your thoughts on the fajita? I love it. I love it. Best one I've ever had. I've never been to Lupe Tortilla, however, so I haven't tried that, and that's your favorite. But this is the best fajitas I've ever had, a whole life. Boom, so Mike's best ever fajitas. And I do love Lupe, Lupe is number one. But these are fantastic too. I, at Chewy's, I feel like I like so many items. You can tr really try anything, <laughs> not really go wrong. But I like that Chewy Chonga and probably the Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Mike's trying the Jalapeno Ranch on the fajita. Let us know, Mike. Will do. Seems like a great idea. I think my favorite piece of these fajitas is the tortillas. Amazingly soft and buttery smooth. Really great flavor and consistency there. But they are good all around. Mike recommended using the jalapeno ranch on the fajita. I'm gonna try a little bit in there. Let's see how it tastes. A little sample for starters. Should be good. Our server brought us extra salsa and chips and tortillas for the road. Looks fantastic. We'll enjoy those at a later point, but really glad to be able to come back to places like Chewy's. Also note, I put my jacket on while we were in there. It was cold just because it's Chewy's doesn't mean it wasn't icy cold. Really glad we had a chance to visit though. I'd say those fajitas are about mid-level for me. I really love the chewy chonga and the chicka chicka boom boom, but I like this more than the combo plates or maybe the big as your face burritos. So overall, fantastic Chewy's experience from the usual food to some great distancing. Overall, I'd say it was great. Mike, your thoughts? How was Chewy's today? Really enjoyed it. Really, really did. Those fajitas were the best I've ever had and the service and the attention to detail and the safety and the, you know, to, you know, as we're leaving the extra chips, it just, it made the whole experience really, really nice. So overall, really glad we had the chance to come out, support some of the deliciousness of Chewy's and just have a great time enjoying some delicious food. A lot less crowded than the parks or city walks or other locations. Thanks so much for being a part of the fun with me today. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed of future adventures. And until next time, play on. We're ma Today we're wearing I think my favorite piece of these tortillas 